Now, before he was hired by CNN, Brian Stelter was a star media correspondent at the New York Times. Really, that was just a warm-up. Now he covers the industry through President Trump's fog of misinformation. Andrew sat down with Stelter this week. Tell me, never a dull day in the United States these days. <laughs> Well, and, and let's talk about the news cycle, because you're, you're a journalist. We look at Trump's relationship with the media in particular, the, the enemy of the American people. Yes, we have not seen this before. Even Richard Nixon, when he was uh, attacking the news media during Watergate, he was doing that privately. So this is very much uncharted territory. But, but CNN in particular, right? I mean, CNN is often in the president's crosshairs. I'm curious to know how that affects you. Uh, I mostly... Uh, ignore it. Well, let me ask you this. Do you accept any of the criticism? I don't think CNN is, or, or any other channel right now, is, is anti-Trump. So that raises a really interesting point, too. Analysis, context, you, you mentioned the introduction of opinion. Here's, here's how we actually do our jobs. Here's how we know that story is not fake. Here's how we know those sources are real. You've referred to his presidency as madness. Does that cross the line? I think there's a, a healthy tradition in America of uh, aggressive, sometimes adversarial journalism. Is that a judgment for a journalist to make, right? <laughs> Let me flip it around, because when you look at the negativity that's out there, and I, and I, I want to bring up Alex Jones. He throws out all of these insults and says, I drink children's blood. <laughs> Brian, it's been wonderful to Thank talk you. to you. Thanks so much. Thanks.